In the previous video, we derived a formula for graphically dividing two complex numbers. And we started with the polar representation of both complex numbers Z1 and Z2, where we have the magnitude of the complex number multiplied by the direction of the complex number, where theta1 in this complex number is measured relative to the positive real number axes. And when we divide these two complex numbers, we found this formula here, where we divide the magnitudes of the complex numbers and we essentially subtract their angles. And one way to interpret this formula is that this is really just another complex number, Z3, where this quotient here is the magnitude of Z3. Let me rewrite that. And these angles on the inside, this is really just the angle for Z3, which we can call theta3. So when dividing complex numbers graphically, we divide their magnitudes and we subtract their angles. And for this video, I'd like to look at a specific example problem so that we can better understand this formula. So let me start by first making a little bit of room and we will come up with an example problem to help make sense of this formula. Now, let's say we have a complex number Z1, which is equal to four multiplied by the cosine of 120 degrees plus I times by the sine of 120. And let's say that Z2 is two multiplied by the cosine of 90 plus I times by the sine of 90 degrees. And if we want, we can put these numbers into their rectangular forms by essentially just distributing the magnitude and simplifying the expression, either using a calculator or the unit circle. And for Z1, we would get minus two plus I times by two times by the square root of three. And for Z2, notice that it's at a 90 degree angle and has a magnitude of two, meaning that it will essentially just be right here on the positive imaginary axes, and we can verify that if we actually multiply it out. But the main result is that the cosine of 90 is zero and the sine of 90 is one, so we just get two times by i. And let's also plot z1. It has a magnitude of four. It is a distance of four away from the origin, and it's at an angle of 120 degrees, so it should be roughly right about here. And of course, this point right here would have a magnitude of two, an angle of 90, but this is Z2. And to divide these numbers, we will take Z1 and divide that by Z2. We're gonna use the formula here. So we can divide their magnitudes. We divide four over two and we will subtract their angles. We will take the cosine of 120 minus 90, and we will add that to i times by the sine of 120 degrees minus 90 degrees, and we can of course simplify everything. The magnitudes, these, this quotient here, four divided by two is just two, and we will get the cosine of 30 plus i times by the sine of 30, and we can plot that. It has an angle of 30 degrees and a magnitude of two. So let's do that in this green color here. It has a magnitude of two, and it's at an angle of 30 degrees. So this quotient, we can write this as Z3, where Z3 is really just Z1 over Z2, it has a magnitude of two and an angle of 30 degrees. And of course, if we want, we can put this into its rectangular form by distributing. We would get the square root of three plus I, and we can verify all of this by taking Z1 here and dividing it by Z2 in rectangular form 
And remember when we're dividing these, we would then multiply by the complex conjugate and carry out the arithmetic. And you will see that when everything simplifies, we do get back the rectangular form for this quotient here. But the main idea is that when dividing numbers graphically, we have this nice interpretation. We divide their magnitudes and we subtract their angles.